<laughs> this is a tough one. <laughs> Definitely, this is my favorite place. The culture is beautiful. You can learn a lot. I didn't expect it, the innovation into the whole thing for me. <laughs> Come to Vera Clinic. Steven Pina, midfielder. Istanbul uh, is a beautiful city, so people can always come here and feel at home. It's uh, my first time visiting this beautiful city, and today uh, it opened my eyes. A uh, very historical city. I've seen so many beautiful architect uh, buildings, uh, and for me it uh, was really an eye-opening. I think uh, I'll definitely come back uh, again uh, to Istanbul. Uh, the visit was too short. Uh, there's, I think, a lot to see and a lot to learn about this beautiful city. Interesting uh, at first, uh, very windy, but a beautiful two, two bridges that I saw that I always see on TV. And, uh, yeah, you know, today being on it, uh, on the boat, to experience it at first hand was uh, really interesting. I don't know if uh, my pronunciation is good, the Gullian Park. Uh, it's peaceful, beautiful garden, uh, beautiful view, the sky. Definitely, this is my favorite place. The culture is beautiful. You can learn a lot. And for me, I'll definitely say I'll have to do more research about the culture and the city because of the, the historical, the history behind the, the city. For me, it's uh, yeah, definitely something that uh, interests me. My suggestions will be definitely to come. <laughs> come to Vera Clinic, um, obviously, how, how the people work at the clinic, uh, how they welcome you, how they look after you. Uh, you get uh, some of the best doctors uh, that's doing the, the transplants for you. I'll definitely uh, recommend people to, to come and uh, get yeah, consultation uh, from the clinic and very friendly stuff. People that will come over will be in safe hands. Um, for me, it was uh, just as a kid, uh, I got a plastic ball from my mom as a present mm -hmm. and just kicking uh, the ball in the yard, breaking a few windows when I was a child and, you know, eventually you started enjoying it, kicking about and then, you know, as a kid, you don't, you don't have that dream, mm -hmm. you just want to play, mm -hmm. to be out there having fun until the day I got scouted uh, and someone told me, I've got a bit of potential to become a footballer, <laughs> so that's how uh, my dream started and I uh, started uh, yeah, just going all the way with the support of my family and yeah, helping me uh, to realize that I can achieve something in football and that's how I became a footballer. It was all about hard work, uh, believing in, in myself, uh, being focused and go for the big picture of what you, you have in front of you and for me it was just enjoying and expressing yourself on the field. Every moment that I had uh, was to, to have fun and that's, uh, I think that was the most important part of being successful as a football player. I got, uh, first uh, I did a bit of research for, about the club, uh, the history about the club and when I joined the club, for me, the most important thing they told me was teamwork, uh, it's a family. And the first day I walked through the doors at the club, I got, uh, I got a feeling that this is a family. 